Hi everyone, welcome to the Basic Science series by Dr. Lokendra Kumar. I have created this program to promote scientific knowledge among students and young researchers. In this episode, we will discuss in detail about bacteriophage-based detection of antibiotic-resistant bacteria. Systematically, we will know about the technique and the basic concepts behind this technique and how we can use bacteriophages to detect antimicrobial resistant bacterial pathogens. This particular problem has two parts. Part 1, which is bacteriophage. Part 2, which is antibiotic resistant bacteria. To explain this technology, I will explain both of these terms in detail. A bacteriophage is a virus that infects and replicates within a bacteria. They are composed of proteins and they have DNA or RNA as their genetic material. It has a small neck section that connects tail sheath with the head. To the tail end, it contains tail fibers that are required for binding with bacterial receptors. Bacteriophages attack specific bacterial populations. This specifically means a bacteriophage can infect only certain bacteria bearing those receptors to which they can bind, which in turn determines the phage host range. Attachment of phage with bacterial surface protein is called phage docking. Host growth conditions also influence the ability of phage to attach and invade them. Staphylococcus phage will attack only Staphylococcus. E. coli phages will attack only E. coli strains. Therefore, they are very useful tool to use as a diagnostic markers. Now, please see the chapter 3 to understand the mechanism of bacteriophage mediated lysis. There are two types of phages lytic phages and lysogenic phages. Specifically, lytic phages are the phages that are useful since they multiply in the host and eventually lyse the host cell. The lysogenic phages incorporate their DNA in bacterial host and remain latent. Their chromosome becomes integrated into a specific section of the host cell chromosome. We are specifically focusing on lytic phages in this presentation. Part 2, which is antimicrobial resistance, is the ability of a microbe to resist the effect of antibiotic. Resistant microbes are more difficult to treat, requiring alternate medications or higher doses of antimicrobial agents. In my previous episodes, which is chapter 15, I have explained in detail about antimicrobial resistance and about antibiotics. In previous presentation, chapter 20, I have explained the method of detection of bacteria using specifically the example of MRSA or MRSA. The methods mentioned in the presentation require more than a day. Therefore, advanced methods are required and one of the important methods that we are going to discuss today is bacteriophage-based detection of antibiotic-resistant bacteria. I will explain this by taking the example of MRSA with the following steps. Step 1, which is bacterial sample preparation. For fast replication, bacteria needs to be in a specific amount or in specific number so that bacteriophage can infect those bacterial cells. If the bacteria is present in low number, then the sample needs to be incubated in media to increase the number of bacterial cells. If the bacteria is present in very high amount, which is usually in the case of urine sample, the bacteria needs to be diluted. The preliminary quantification can be done by using UV spectrophotometry. To understand how UV spectrophotometry works, please refer to episode 14. Step 2, which is antibiotic incubation. Since we are discussing the example of MRSA, so we will be discussing 
Staphylococcus aureus as a bacteria and methicillin as an antibiotic. Now, methicillin is added to the culture. Other antibiotic can also be tested separately. Now, if bacteria is sensitive, then the bacteria will not grow. If bacteria is resistant, then the bacteria will grow. The step three includes that the detection of that resistant bacteria using bacteriophages. Step three, which is bacteriophage incubation. You will add staphage to the bacterial sample, which was incubated with methicillin. Now, if you have bacteria survived, the bacteriophage population will hit the bacteria and the bacteriophage population will go higher. And bacteriophages are protein. Now, you can use any method of detection of protein to find out whether there is a significant increase in the protein content. Other method of phage detection includes antibody-based methods like ELISA and other analytic tools like mass spectrometry, nuclear magnetic resonance. The increase in the protein content will signify the presence of drug-resistant bacteria in your sample. And using this technique, patient's life can be saved who needs a correct antimicrobial therapy urgently. So if we have phages against most of bacterial strains, we can detect any drug resistant bacteria on time. We just need to find them. Remember, it is estimated that there are more bacteriophages on this planet more than every other organism combined. We just need to find them. And the scientists who look for these bacteriophages on environment are known as phage hunters. With this note, I conclude this presentation. Please like and share the video with students and young researchers. Please subscribe my YouTube channel for further updates on new presentations on basic science topics. Please forgive my mistakes. Thank you and Namaste.